What's up guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna show you how to unlock any iPhone out there. For this tutorial, I'm gonna be using my iPhone 12 Pro, but this method will work for any other smartphone, any other iPhone. It doesn't really matter which generation you have. The first thing you have to do is to get your phone's IMEI number. So to do that, simply open the phone application and dial the following command, star hash zero six hash. And as you will see, your 15 digit IMEI number will appear in the screen of your iPhone. We're gonna use this number in a few seconds in order to do a remote carrier unlock on this iPhone. You can also find the IMEI number in the SIM card tray. It's a very tiny number written in the SIM card tray, which you can see here. And now we're gonna switch to the computer because the rest of the process will take place on the computer. Here, we're gonna request the unlock to unlock this phone. It's gonna be all done remotely. So we're gonna have to fill in all the information about the phone we're unlocking here. So, and then you have to enter here your IMEI number. This is very, very important. Make sure you enter it here 100% correct. If there's a mistake here, this method will not work. The last step is to enter your email where you want to be notified once your iPhone has been unlocked successfully. And now you just have to wait until they send you your email saying that your iPhone has been unlocked. The waiting time may vary depending on your phone's brand, carrier, model. So I'm gonna show you how the email will look like after you receive it. So we're gonna go to my personal email account. So this is the email I just got, and it says your iPhone has been factory unlocked successfully. So let's go ahead and open this email. So the email will confirm that your iPhone has been successfully unlocked. And now the last step is to connect your iPhone to Wi-Fi to activate the unlock. So that's the way you do a network factory unlock. All right, so now we're gonna do a couple of things. First, we're gonna power off the iPhone. So press and hold the volume up key and the power off button. We're gonna slide to turn it off. So now we have to insert a non-supported SIM card. For example, my phone is locked to AT&T. I'm gonna use a SIM card that it's not from AT&T. I'm gonna use a different carrier. For this example, I'm gonna use my T-Mobile SIM card. You can use any other SIM card and your phone will be compatible. So now we're gonna connect the iPhone to the computer to activate the unlock. So I'm just gonna connect it. And now we're gonna run iTunes on the computer. Make sure you're running the latest version of iTunes. I'm gonna include a link in the description of this video where you can go ahead and download it. So we're gonna wait a couple of seconds and you should get this message that basically confirms that the iPhone has been successfully unlocked. Boom. There you go, guys. That's how you unlock an iPhone. So as you can see here, guys, my phone is now fully unlocked. We have a full signal bar and my phone is currently running with a new carrier. It's on T-Mobile and my phone is now fully compatible with any SIM card in any country. It is as simple as that, guys. And this is how you do a factory unlock on an iPhone 12. So now we're gonna start with the passcode lock. So if you forgot the passcode of your phone and your iPhone is locked, I'm gonna show you how to bypass this screen so that you're able to use it again. It's also possible that your phone is disabled because of so many um, fail attempts to unlock your iPhone. Uh, no worries, I'm gonna show you how to bypass this in order to use your phone again. Now, there are a few things that I need to mention before we proceed. And the first thing is that your phone will be completely erased. So all the photos, contacts, pictures, um, notes, everything will be completely deleted from this phone. But if you're lucky, you will have a backup in your computer or in the iCloud and you will be able to get your information back into your iPhone. But if not, we're gonna do a full factory reset. And by the way, make sure that you don't have an iCloud lock. I'm assuming that you are the owner of this iPhone. So I'm gonna show you how to do a full factory reset. So to begin, we have to install the latest version of iTunes in the computer. It works for Windows or for Mac users. It doesn't really matter. As long as you have the latest version of iTunes, I'm gonna include a link in the description of this video where you can download and install the latest version of iTunes. We will also need the cable, so make sure your phone is connected to the computer. So we're gonna go ahead and connect the iPhone. And now we're gonna enter recovery mode on this iPhone. So to enter recovery mode, we simply are gonna press the volume up key, then the volume down key, and then we're gonna press and hold the turn on and turn off key here. So here we go. Press volume up key, volume down, and press and hold the power off key. So we're just gonna press and hold it for approximately 30 seconds, and the phone will be completely shut down immediately. And now we have to wait until we get the Connect to iTunes logo on the screen of the iPhone. Now, this may take a couple of attempts, so don't be afraid of trying it again and again until it works for you. So we're just gonna wait, and we should get a screen in the middle of the iPhone that says that we should connect the iPhone to the computer, as you can see here. Perfect. Now we're gonna switch to the computer. iTunes will detect that your iPhone has been detected as recovery mode. We're gonna proceed by clicking restore, and the iPhone will be completely restored and updated to the latest version. It's gonna take a couple of minutes, even a few hours if your internet connection is a bit slow, but I'll be back once my iPhone has been completely restored. 
So once the restore is completed, you're gonna be able to access your phone again. So you just have to set up all the initial settings and you will be good to go and you will be able to use your phone again. And now you can see the iPhone has been fully unlocked and now boom, we're able to access the phone again. So that's it guys, that's how you unlock any iPhone. It is as simple as that. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe. My name is Christian and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.